is the scene of the crime! This is the scene of the crime! Punk rock for me was about being different, being rebellious, being totally anti everything that was cool. Like there wasn't a, really a home for punk rockers, there wasn't a way to make a living as a punk rocker, so it just faded away and, and out of that came Pennywise. We were like sitting around just going, there's no punk shows to go to anymore. Like, you know, it's like once a month you'll find a good show. Let's do something about that. Let's start a band, let's start playing backyard parties. Let's figure out a way to create our own mayhem. If we can't find it somewhere, let's do it ourselves. And that's cool to see that again. It's just discouraging that there's so many great bands that aren't getting heard. I think we're, I think we're done. All these independent labels that were around when they were able to sell, you know, 20, 30, 40,000 records and make some money, that's gone away with the downloading and the file sharing. So now these backyard labels and these indies have folded. A bunch of the major labels have folded. So now you have back to the same thing where Pennywise was like, hey, can we talk our local record store owner into putting out a record? Like, where can we record it? For me, helping younger bands and, and stuff and just no name bands has always just been. I don't know, I, I was in that same spot, you know. Fletcher and I partnered up, I guess, in a sense, just way back, when, like I said, when he was putting Pennywise together, it just kind of, you know, I had the print shop and a place for them to practice, and I get to go on tour with them. And, you know, we've been friends for a long time since, and I started my company, Hardline, because it was just basically out of necessity. Some of the younger bands started coming up and needing an opportunity, and it just evolved from there. And If you have the, uh, the power and the uh, ability to help somebody less fortunate or somebody, you know, you should use it. I mean, these people that get rich and sit up on pedestals and, and you know, get away from me and won't even sign a fucking autograph, I mean, those people can, you know, fuck off and die for all I'm concerned. It's, it's just like, who are you, you know? Your fans made you who you are and, and, and you know, you're, you're nobody without your fans and if one of your fans happens to be in a band and you can go help that kid out, like some kids say, you know, I, grew up playing Pennywise songs, oh, hey, well, let me check out your demo tape, and well, you should do this, this, and this, and advise and help, like, why not share your knowledge and try to help the next kids fulfill the dream? I mean, that's what it's all about, you know, it's kind of like a camaraderie, especially in, in punk rock scene, you gotta stick together, you know, and, and, and help each other up when you fall down. Music's allowed me to do so much, and I want those kids to have that opportunity, and they're just few and far between these days, you know, with music being free, so whatever I can do, and I know if Fletcher feels the same way. You know, and then Zoli, who actually is the singer of Ignite, he's now the singer of Pennywise, are playing, you know, coming up, and you know, they're, they're lending those kids a hand, because there's not many bands doing the same style of music in this area that they like, so they're, you know, giving a leg up to maybe play a show with them, you know? You know, just whatever we can to help them. You know, that's what punk rock's about. Like, whether it's metal, punk rock, screamo, emo, Kids that are just going out there doing what they do because they love to do it, I don't think it's ever going to stop. You know, there's always going to be those kids in the garage that are trying to do it. And that's devotion. That's like love and the music. I mean, none of these kids like Allure are coming home rich. You know, they're coming home broken down, busted. Their credit card bills are maxed out. You know, they're 10 pounds lighter because they're starving to death. But they're doing it year after year. And that's like, you know, that's what punk rock's about. I always tell bands, do it because you love it, not because it's trendy, not because you want to be rich and famous and get a bunch of chicks. It's like, you gotta, you gotta think about your fans, you gotta think about what's right and wrong, and uh, just being humble. If you get a piece of the pie, if you're fortunate enough to like take that step up, like try to take care of the people that are underneath you because you were there once. Look out for the small guy, and, and, and you know, I think, Regardless of whether you make it or not, if you can do that and you can help somebody and you can get your message out there and you did it because you love it, that's a success in itself. And, and just knowing that you, you, know, you did it for the right reasons, that's, that's what it's all about. I mean, if I made zero dollars, which I do from music, you know, it's not going to stop me. I'm still going to do it. I don't know what I do without music. You know.
that I broke for sure and overworked. But, uh, you know, like I said, I can always put my head on the pillow and feel pretty good when I go to sleep at night. <laughs>